Hi everyone! In this video I will show you everything about scanning on HP Envy 6120E from any device. Let's get into it. I suppose you already get the printer ready to work, it's powered on, the cartridges are installed and the paper is loaded in the printer and now we need to connect this printer to your Wi-Fi network. To do this on the printer's display touch the menu icon and swipe up until you see settings. Tap on settings. Next, tap on network and finally Wi-Fi. Then next to Wi-Fi setup you can see start button, so tap on this button and it's searching for Wi-Fi routers and this is the list of routers found nearby. Find your router in this list. 2.4 GHz band has wider range and 5 GHz band has stronger signal or rather faster network speed. So let me connect to the faster network. Tap next. In this field you need to enter your Wi-Fi password. So tap here. Now you can see on-screen keyboard just like on Android devices and enter your password. I hope your password is stronger than mine in this example. Tap on this I to see what you type in and press OK once you're done. Submit. Check your information. Scroll down. You can tap on show password to check if it's correct and tap on OK. Now it's trying to connect to the network. Just wait for a while. Connection successful and you can print connection report, you will get all this information, IP address, network name, MAC address, host name and so on. And a little bit more information, but we don't need it for this example, we just want to scan. So press OK. Also you can press home button to go to the home screen and let's continue on your computer. Whether you use Windows or Mac computer, you need to install HP Smart. It's available in Microsoft Store, App Store, Google Play Store, so you can use this application even on smartphones. And it's really smart, really good. It has a single interface for, for all operating system and it does everything. It installs drivers, it updates your firmware, allows you to print, scan and more things. So install this application from your respective application store, wait for the installation. And once installed, open the application. Click yes in this window if you're using Windows. Now accept the terms and conditions or decline optional data or manage options, but let's save time, just decline optional data. Wait for loading. Let HP Smart access your precise location. This is necessary, answer yes to this question. Uh, one more thing, to use all features of this application you have to log in to your HP account or create one if you don't have. They force you to do it, without account you can't use the application, but it's worth. So create an HP account, let me skip this step because it's very easy, just like create account somewhere on Facebook. I already logged in, uh, so you need to add your printer, click on this button over here. And make sure your computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer. Over here you can use 2.4 GHz band or 5 GHz band, never mind. You need just be connected to the same router. So click on your printer's icon once it's found. Now driver is successfully installed and you can click on continue. Your printer is ready to work and you can start scanning. But before we start scanning, let me show you how to place the documents correctly in the scanning unit. So you need to open the lid like this. And notice the shaded corner over here. So you need to put your document facing down. Uh, the side you wish to scan must be put facing down. Let's scan this side. And you need to align the top left corner of your document with this shaded corner, like this. And align the borders of the document with the borders of scanning surface. Also notice your paper size, you have markers here, it's A4 in my case. And now you can close the lid and continue in application. 
click on the scan tile and let's adjust your scan settings you can change source because the source is only one in this case if you want to manually detect the edges of your document later you need to check this checkbox also select preset photo or document select scan area you can switch to your paper size or switch to entire scan area and detect edges later or just scan few small documents on one surface on one page uh, next select output color or grayscale and compression medium low or high and resolution up to 1200 dpi but 300 is enough for documents also you can click on this magic wand over here and enable all the enhancements of brightness and contrast for your image and auto orientation just in case you've put the document upside down uh, once you're done with your settings just click on the scan button and wait for the result the scanner is making some robotic sounds it's completely normal the scanning is in process once you've got the scan result it takes you to detect edges menu so you can drag the corners to detect the document edges or switch to auto detect but it works bad in this case or switch to full scan area and then you can adjust the corners manually uh, click on apply and here you have your scan and you can tap on three dots to edit the image click on edit it's loading now you can crop your image to standard size or switch to custom crop just drag the corners uh, to crop uh, adjust brightness saturation contrast and so on apply filters add text mark up your document and when you're done with your settings click done also in this three dots menu you can replace this page or delete it completely uh, and of course you can add more pages uh, to your document so let's click on add uh, now you need to turn your page or put the next page of your document in the scanning unit close delete adjust your settings uh, you can combine different paper sizes as you can see you can combine color and grayscale different compressions different resolutions also you can import existing images uh, to your scan so let's tap on import or rather click on import close this window import it takes you to your file system now let's find an image we wish to import click on open detect edges you can click on full to capture the full image click on apply now your document has two pages you can switch between the pages and uh, drag the pages to reorder like this uh, you can edit each page separately and you still can scan more pages click on add and you can import or get the image from scanner so adjust your settings click on scan and wait for the second scan result once again let's adjust borders then click on apply uh, and repeat this action as many times as you need to scan your document and now you can uh, send fax use shortcuts uh, for printing share the document save to your file system or print right away for this example let's just save the document select your format image or pdf remember that pdf only supports multiple page document uh, in this field you can rename your document like this select the file compression or save without compression and just click save select the file location uh, let's say let's save in documents and click on save your file has been saved now you can close the application or click back a few times to go to the home screen and start new scanning or use another feature of this application.
In HP Smart, for smartphones, they also have cool feature of camera scanning. As you can see, the interface is pretty the same as on computer, it's very handy. Uh, now let me show you. Tap on camera scan, and now you can take pictures of your documents and convert them into scans. So take a picture. Now adjust borders, detect edges, just like on computer, drag the corners, and hit next which takes you to the same menu as on computer. You can add images, you can rotate your pages, you can access this three dots menu and edit, replace or delete the, this page. Uh, let me show you one more thing. You can tap on auto over here when adding an image and scan the pages automatically, detect the borders like this. Now you can replace this document and right away scan the next one. And so you can scan a batch of documents just in minutes. Once you're done, uh, disable auto mode and tap on this thumbnail at the bottom and edit your pages, add more, reorder and so on. And now you can print, share, use shortcuts or send fax just like on computer. And that's all about scanning on this printer. For advanced scanning features, you may need some professional application like Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Scan for smartphones, uh, but they are paid and so far HP Smart is the best free scanning application I've ever seen. I hope that helps. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and be awesome. Bye guys.